in previous section we have seen introduction of django views templates model forms and admin site in this lecture we'll see how to create users in django admin and give them different permissions hi welcome back to the course in this course we'll learn views url cons models forms etc we've seen theory of views and now we'll see how to implement views url cons models forms etc in our django app so we'll create a new project and app and we'll use this app and project throughout the whole section so let's start our project make sure you are in your virtual environment and specified path so let's create project by using the command django admin start project project name okay the project is created go to the path of that project cd project and uh, create our new app django admin start app our app name block we have created our app and uh, let's check it out once by run the server python manage.py run server check it once our server is started let's get let's hit the url yes it worked now we'll create our first view here we are using sublime text editor for the section you can use any text editor like pycharm or notepad plus plus eclipse etc so let's open a folder cool so here here is a project name and our app name and this is our project inside the project django gives us inbuilt functionalities just like settings.py urls.py and so on and when we create our application django already gives us admin.py apps.py models.py tests.py and views.py this is the by default functionality of django so let's have a look once what is this what are those things this is the settings.py we'll look this settings in detail in few videos and uh, here is the url.py and here is our app this is our app and uh, django provides us admin apps and so on so let's have a look in the urls just make it let me make it a bigger okay so here are three types of views with django supports one is a functional view second is the class based views and third one is the url cons we'll see in this lecture function views and url cons so let's have a look about function views first to define our views we have to create one new file in our project let's save it first vi ews views.py and uh, okay so first we need to import django.http import http response so i'll tell you the whole thing let me create a one function make sure when you import http response and when you use when you want to use it you have to pass a request we'll see this in detail in the whole in the section of the views this is just introduction of the views so just go with the flow and uh, just we are returning our object return http response and here whatever you want to pass you can pass it and uh, yes here i am writing hello world and uh, after creating our view we have to pass it we have to define url for it let me just copy the views url 
and uh, just paste it over here this is our view and this is our name of the view you can give anything over here but you need to first import our views import home this is how you can import and here I have imported the whole view the whole function from the view so I don't need this view in the URL anymore just save it and uh, great here I want to show you one more thing here you will see that we write home URL now if we hit this page it will give an page not found error why because Django search that is there any dollar sign only for the page if it is not it gives us an error because our view is in this path home so we have to pass it explicitly home which is our URL fair enough so one more thing to show you we can also render we can also show our views with the another method let me just show you response is equal to HTTP response response dot content is equal to here it will be the content make sure you are passing it in the double quote make sure the tags are open and completed perfectly and uh, in the home view so let me just save it and uh, return response okay save it and check it once again okay cool so this is how you can show your views show your function based views you have to just import it and you have to write URLs now we'll see URL cons for that we'll create a view in our app so let me create it def you have to first import the statement let me import it from here only okay fair enough and def it's a view make sure you pass your you will pass request so here will return only it's a return HTTP response and again h1 and uh, in the app view okay cool I'm just saving it but we need to first include our apps URL over here just have a look that Django already gives us the syntax how to use app make sure you're passing comma correctly blog is our URL and here blog is our application and we need to define URLs in our app as well so first let me save it create one file urls.py in our app and uh, and just copy this and uh, paste it over here I don't need admin so I am removing it and the URL and yes you have to include you have to import include over here to use the include and okay fair enough so admin and uh, blog is not needed okay and yeah fair enough and uh, we have to just pass our views this is our view and make sure you are importing your views correctly yes so let's check it once and one more thing when you install our when you install our app or any app in the Django project you have to specify it in the settings installed app so we have to install we have to write blog in this install app okay cool and let's run the server but before run the server make sure when you create a new app these two commands are need to be fired make migrations make sure make migrations and 
migrate this two commands needs to be fired and then after you can restart your server and check it out let's check it out and uh, okay we have changed our views view yes why why this error has occurred because we haven't we don't have any url called view yes we have the url called view but it is in our blog app so we need to first define blog and then view yes it worked hooray so this is how you can create your views one more thing i want to show you for this curiousness and uh, for your sake of knowledge uh, let me go to the apps okay uh, this is our project view okay let me close it to avoid the confusions okay so just I want to show you one more thing so this is a view and uh, let me HTTP response response redirect this will redirect us to some specified path whichever we want to use so let me just copy it paste it over here and uh, okay so HTTP response redirect and uh, let me give path some path okay so let me save it and run the server once again and yes this gives us error because there is no path name some path but this is the redirection of a path so this is how we can also redirect to the path fair enough this is the view we can see it and uh, this is the brief introduction of view and url cons and now we'll move on to the templates so templates which is the most important thing in any views and uh, let me show you how to render the templates properly and uh, yeah first you need to define a template path so let me context so this both the things and uh, we need to render it by return render we need to pass a request explicitly again then template and then context here you can see that we can also pass this template by using context over here by using context over here and template over here in this lecture we have seen how to create different users and give them different permissions and we have also seen how to use that permission. In the next lecture, we'll see URL patterns and our first template using Django. We'll create our first template using Django.